to come to the conclusion of Milton's final book of Paradise Lost, Book 12, the angel Michael leads Adam and Eve out of Paradise. They are reconciled, chastened. There is hope in the distance. Michael speaks at the beginning. This having learnt, thou hast attained the sum of wisdom. Hope no higher, though all the stars thou knewest by name, and all the ethereal powers, all secrets of the deep, all nature's works, all works of God in heaven, air, earth, or sea, and all the riches of this world enjoyest, and all the rule one empire. Only add deeds to thy knowledge answerable. Add faith, add virtue, patience, temperance, add love, by name to come call charity, the soul of all the rest. Then wilt thou not be loath to leave this paradise, but shalt possess a paradise within thee, happier far. Let us descend now, therefore, from this top of speculation, for the hour precise exacts our parting hence and see the guards by me encamped on yonder hill expect their motion, at whose front a flaming sword and signal of remove waves fiercely round. We may no longer stay. Go, waken Eve. Her also I with gentle dreams have calmed, portending good, and all her spirits composed to meek submission. Thou, at season fit, let her with thee partake what thou hast heard, chiefly what may concern her faith to know, the great deliverance by her seed to come. For by the woman's seed on all mankind, that ye may live, which will be many days, both in one faith unanimous, though sad with cause for evils past, yet much more cheered with meditation on the happy end. He ended and they both descend the hill. Descended, Adam to the bower where Eve lay sleeping ran before, but found her waked, and thus with words not sad she him received. Whence thou returnst, and whither whence I know, for God is also in sleep, and dreams advise, which he hath sent propitious, some great good presaging, since with sorrow and heart's distress, wearied I fell asleep. But now lead on, in me is no delay. With thee to go is to stay here. Without thee here to stay is to go hence unwilling. Thou to me art all things under heaven, all places thou, who for my willful crime art banished hence. This further consolation, yet secure, I carry hence. Though all by me is lost, such favor I unworthy am vouchsafed. By me the promised seed shall all restore. So spake our mother Eve, and Adam heard, well pleased, but answered not, for now too nigh the archangel stood, and from the other hill to their fixed station, all in bright array, the cherubim descended on the ground gliding materials, as evening mist risen from a river o'er the marish glides, and gathers ground fast at the laborer's heel, homeward returning. High in front advanced, the brandished sword of God before them blazed, fierce as a comet, which with torrid heat, and vapor as the Libyan air at dust, began to parch that temperate clime, whereat, in either hand, the hastening angel caught our lingering parents, and to the eastern gate led them direct, and down the cliff as fast to the subjected plain. Then disappeared. They looking back, all the eastern side beheld of paradise, so late their happy seat, waved over by that flaming brand. The gate with dreadful faces thronged and fiery arms. Some natural tears they dropped but wipe them soon. The world was all before them, where to choose their place of rest, and providence their guide. They, hand in hand, with wandering steps and slow, through Eden took their solitary way.